Hello folks, it is July 17th, 2017. It's uh, Monday and it's time for the weekly video. So over the weekend I did a lot of record shopping. Um, well, like I would say I went to the record store, uh, did some thrift shopping, and um, also went to Half Price Books at a progressive sale. And uh, it just it, sometimes it just annoys me because their prices are just so ridiculous. But um, show you what I got here. So the first thing I got was uh, Paul Cantor Blows Against the Empire. This was at the record store. Uh, I know I sent Kevin. I have like a couple of copies of this actually. Uh, it's a really good record. It's, it's you know Jerry Garcia's on it, David Crosby's on it, uh, Grace Slick. Um, but I don't think my copy. I mean, and I I just got this because I was pretty sure that I didn't have this. But um, this one actually had like the there's like an insert. I didn't realize that that you know that they, it came with that. So um, it definitely is a, a super clean copy of this, which is cool. Um, so you know a little bit of an upgrade, I guess you could say. The jacket on this one's kind of you know seen better days but uh is what it is so this is sort of the first jefferson starship album uh you know paul Cantor. uh he won all kinds of awards like the hugo award for this record and things like that so it's really cool it's sort of about uh space and all kinds of fun stuff so cool um next record i got this was also sort of an upgrade copy for me the jacket's in bad shape but the record's nice and clean uh, Mothers, Mothers of Invention, uh, Weasels Rip My Flesh, that one was $8. Of course, uh, My Guitar Wants to Kill Your Mama, probably the best known song from this one. So, um, very cool. Uh, and the last one from the record store, this is Volume 3, the American Favorite Ballads. This is Pete Seeger on the Folkways label. Um, I have volume one and two, but I did not have volume three. So this has like a uh, Dink song, which um, David Monk and uh, Dylan covered, you know, early on in their careers. Uh, this five string banjo and 12 string guitar. Um, there's some great stuff on here. Weema Way's on there. Um, Clementine, Goodnight Irene's uh, Swing Low Sweet Chariot. Uh, and again, they're all ballads. So they're sort of like these, you know, um, you know, murder ballads and what have you. So there's some good stuff on there, but uh, there you are. Uh, and then, so I, I went to Half Price Books. I went Saturday. Um, I didn't go on Sunday. It was, you know, progressive, 20% off with their coupons, 20, 30, 40, and then 50 on Sunday yesterday. But, um, you know, for the 10%, in some cases, it just doesn't make sense letting it sit there and you know have the possibility that somebody's going to snag it out from under you. But uh, I got some cool stuff. Um, thanks to Jerry for hooking me up with some coupons. Uh, so the first thing I'll show is this is uh, American Whitewater live at the Red Blazer, which is in uh, Concord, New Hampshire. It's still there. Uh, so the Red Blazer is like a supper club. So those. Uh, folks that are outside of the United States or even the people that are in the United States who don't know what that is. Um, back basically, you know, starting in the thirties when there was, you know, prohibition and things like that. Um, there was a lot of these clubs that basically opened, you know, they kind of started as speakeasies, but they were more of a, a place where you could get, you know, you would just go for the, you know, you go after work and you would just stay until it closed basically. But uh, you know, they'd serve, appetizers and uh you you know you'd go most of these places are they're, they're still around but they're not like you know what like they were in the 60s where they'd have like live entertainment and things like that but you know usually it's like the best prime rib in town kind of thing we had a couple in pittsburgh um but this is cool so this is basically the band you know a lot of times that you know they'd have these bands and they'd produce these um you know oh hey buy your album we're gonna take a quick five minute smoke break or whatever uh, but they would play music. It'd be like live music while that you were, you know, eating. But uh, this is probably up there. It's on the uh, the Century label. Um, but this is probably up there with one of my, I would say, one of the top <laughs> privately pr pressed records that I've ever found. So um, here's some of the tracks so you can get an idea what's on here. So uh, Johnny Be Good, Wine, 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 Brown Sugar, uh, Killing Me Softly, Light My Fire, For the Good Times, Leroy Brown, Proud Mary, Joy to the World. Um, you know, the guy sounds a little bit like Elvis, kind of on the, the crooner side, but uh, it's some decent stuff. You know, it's 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 worth checking out. So, you know, great stuff from the uh, private pressed uh, 
bin for sure. So American Whitewater live at the Red Blazer. So very cool. It's sort of like a you know it's 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 America that doesn't exist anymore. It's something you know that's one of the things I like about it. So um, so the other thing is you know a lot of times at, at half press books their prices are just uh, through the roof from what they used to be. And um, I feel like sometimes that they price the records just based on knowing that they have these coupons. So they sort of like mark them up and, and things like that. But um, every once in a while you'll find you'll find good stuff. You just have to be you know smarter than the average bear. You have to be smarter than the person that's pricing the records. So um, here's one that I found that I've been sort of looking for. Um, you know, I, I can't say that I'm like big fan, a big fan of this band at all, but um, this album is 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 up there. Uh, and I knew that this was sort of this kind of like a rare record. Um, I, I looked it up on eBay a while ago when I was sort of uh, having a discussion about this band. And um, I'd never seen, this is their first album, so the Jay Giles Band. Uh, it's just a self-titled album. But um, the... Uh, this came out in 1970. It's on the Atlantic label, but this was only like six bucks, and it sells on eBay for like 15 and up. So um, I'm not sure what it goes for on Discogs, but uh, you know, it's cool stuff. Uh, Mr. Memphis Vinyl. Um, if you if you don't have this album, go get it because it's like it seriously sounds like you can tell that they were influenced by you know Paul Butterfield Field and and stuff like that. And it's not centerfold like everybody thinks or whatever. You know the what they did in the early 80s, which, you know, is, is pretty much all that I know by the band. So I'm going to kind of search out maybe their earlier albums a little bit more, but uh, this one is fantastic. So uh, I was excited to find that one. Uh, one of the other albums that I got from them, uh, this is uh, Circus Maximus. This is Neverland Revisited. Uh, of course, Circus Maximus with uh, Joe Jeff Walker. Uh, Mr. Mo Bojangles himself. Uh, this is their follow-up to their, I think it's their self-titled album. Uh, in, I can tell that I haven't listened to a lot of psychedelic music recently because uh, this is a tough listen. It's not as good as their first one. There's a lot of sort of this jazzy keyboard stuff that kind of goes nowhere. And um, you could tell that they really weren't sure themselves what direction that they were going into. And uh, it's it's understandable that, uh, you know, this is their last album before, uh, you know, soon after Jerry Jeff Walker goes on and, you know, does his solo album and has a pretty lucrative solo career, I guess you could say, as a singer-songwriter. So uh, it's on the Vanguard label. Don't necessarily know if I would recommend this, but, uh, you know, for, for those psychedelic collectors out there, something cool. Hey, just like old times here on the channel, right? Um... And here's another one. This this was this was a pretty good score. Uh, I was happy with the price I paid for it, so it was 15 bucks, and then it was 40 percent off. So uh, what six? Uh, not necessarily half of that. Maybe like eight or nine dollars. This is a sealed copy of this. Uh, this is the Brotherhood Brotherhood, which uh, it's Drake and Phil after they left uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders. This is actually not right after they left. It was this is like the one after they did an album called Friend Sound Joyride. Uh, this is pretty much, you know, at, at the end of their life for sure. But uh, uh, this is a sealed copy, so you can't go wrong for under ten bucks for that. I, I can't complain. So I was excited to find that one. Uh, this is on the RCA four thousand series, so. I know I, I, I talk a lot about the Electra 4000, but RCA had a pretty decent 4000 series as well, too. Um, I know uh, Memphis, you, Memphis Jimmy just shared um, The Chosen Few, which is which is within that 4000. So they did a, a lot of pop records. Um, you know, the pop and country kind of go together. And of course, the Nielsen records are kind of sprinkled in there as well. But there's some good, uh, there's some decent quasi pop and, and psychedelic stuff from that, you know, on that number. So if you see those, you see RCA 4000, any of those within that, in that number system are, are pretty decent. They're pretty, pretty worthwhile to go get. You know, there's, there's a ton of them. There's, I mean, they had a ton. Uh, and then the last but not least, these are all from the, um, these are all from one of the thrift stores. Uh, these were all 50 cents. So um, as everyone knows, I've been listening to a lot of sort of 60s, uh, easy listening, middle of the road kind of uh, stuff. I'm just sort of, you know, just kind of palate cleanser for the time being. But uh, this is great. I had I have the soundtrack for a few dollars more 
um, or no, I'm sorry, not a few dollars more, hang them high. Uh, so this is actually from a fistful of dollars uh, for a few dollars more in the good, the bad, and the ugly. So um, this is some great stuff. So if you like sort of the 60s, uh, you know, kind of movie soundtrack kind of stuff, this is great. So um, this is, I had this copy, I have this. So I need to sort of dig it out, but uh, for 50 cents, I couldn't pass this up. So um, I may be sending this off for um, um, as, as, you know, records in the mail, what have you. Uh, but this is Biff Rose. This is the, the thorn in Mrs. Rose's side. Uh, the probably best noted for having uh, Fill Your Heart, which was covered by David Bowie on the Hunky Dory album. So... Uh, that's on this this album. I don't think there was anything else on that. Yeah, that was it. So very cool. Fifty cents for that one. Um, this one's fun. This is actually on. Uh, I've seen this before, and I have like the follow up to this. So, um, you know, it's it's a Buddha label kind of thing, but it's Pavilion, which sort of became you know Buddha. Uh, acquired by Buddha, but this is the uh, Edwin Hawkins singers. Uh, Let us go into the house of the Lord, of course, with uh, uh, Oh Happy Day, which was sort of their big. One. But this is sort of a I don't know, sort of a, a pivot, pivotal um, album, sort of in the collective, you know, late '60s, sort of what happened. Um, you know, that this this was kind of going it would go into Buddha and sort of that gospel. Uh, the gospel thing sort of got into the the pop culture um, consciousness, I guess you could say. So this is on Pavilion, uh, which is a very, just a standard label for that. Uh, it was distributed by Buddha, and then Buddha, of course, the second album is actually on the Buddha label, I believe. I want to say, or it's maybe still be on Pavilion, but it's, it's it has more sort of stuff about the Buddha on there. Um, and again, another one that sort of I've been, you know, kind of checking these off the list. Uh, that early A and M stuff. So this is uh, Julius Wechter and the Baja Marimba Band. <laughs> I know I've showed about three of these probably in the last two months, but this is uh, Foul Play, which this is one of their last one of their last albums. But uh, there's some really really fun stuff on here. Uh, Summer Samba is on here. So if you ever like, if you've ever heard sort of that elevator music, you know, that's that song. So uh, that's on here. Wendy is on here. Sounds of Silence. Uh, Along Comes Mary. She's Leaving Home. The Look of Love. So there's some fun stuff on this. One of the last albums that they did. So, so that does it for me. Hope you guys have a great week, and we'll see you on down the trail. Take care.